the Christians are going to wake up and rub their eyes the ones who are deceived by Europe and they say but wait a minute this fellow there in Jerusalem who says he's the Messiah boy he is not the son of Mary huh the Messiah who is to come back is the son of Mary this fellow is not the son of Mary this is not Jesus it seems as though we were taken for a ride <laughs> Are we telling them that now if they're listening to the lecture you've been taken for a ride This is not the Messiah This is Dajjal The false Messiah And this is not the end of history The Jews are celebrating But this is not the end of history History will now end When the true Messiah comes back Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam said that he will come down from the sky with his hand resting on the wings of two angels hmm? he's going to come down in a masjid in Damascus and I had some problems with this hadith I have to confess I said why Damascus he went up in Jerusalem so why is he coming back in Damascus you know how I like to ask questions so I lived with this problem for some time until I realized oh wait a minute the first time he came Allah raised a man Yahya alayhi salam John the Baptist and it was Yahya alayhi salam John the Baptist who pointed and said here he is this is the man you've been waiting for this is the Messiah positive identification and so when he's to come back he comes back again where John the Baptist is because his head is buried in Damascus in Masjid al-Umawi so now I realize why he has to come back to Damascus or not to Jerusalem when he comes back he's going to kill the Dajjal and after he kills the Dajjal then Allah will send فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ فَبَعَثَ اللَّهُ Allah will send it does not say Allah will release no it does not say that Allah will release no, it says that Allah will send Gog and Magog. And then comes the big conflict between Gog and Magog. Which includes Star Wars. We've killed those who are on earth. Now let us kill those who are in the heavens above. And they'll shoot their arrows up in the sky. And Allah will cause the arrows to come back down. These arrows are of course missiles with blood on them. Gog and Magog mutually annihilate each other. And then the power of modern Western civilization is broken. And Israel is now defenseless. I hope Israel is listening. Israel is now defenseless it is then that the Muslim army will come out of Khorasan and liberate every territory in a straight line until it reaches Jerusalem there is no war to fight because the Jews are now on the run at this time they are stamping their feet as oppressors and oppressing oppressing innocent people unjustly barbaric oppression but at that time they go beyond the run because Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam says history will end this way of course Harun Yahya is lying I don't know why Harun Yahya has to lie why does Harun Yahya have to lie 
it's not a good thing to lie Imran Hussein doesn't use this kind of language no there must be a very valid reason for him to speak like this publicly and use his violent language okay to tell us that when Nabi Isa Islam returns the Quran says that the Jews and the Christians will believe in him and the Muslims already believe in him so history is going to end according to Yahya Harun Yahya history is going to end with Christians and Muslims and Jews living together as a family and since that is the way history is going to end why don't you live like that now in other words why don't you embrace Israel it looks to me as though the Israeli Mossad scripted that it looks to me like that I hope they're listening that's false Harun Yahya let us tell you the truth Harun Yahya whoever you are Harun Yahya hiding behind a pen name Islamic scholarship doesn't hide behind any pen names in Islam when you publish something you give your name so you can be held accountable for what you say or what you write we don't hide behind pen names not in Islam when Pharaoh was drowning he suddenly realized that he was not God because he's dying and then he declared his faith in the God of Banu Israel but Allah responded and said now Pharaoh and before this you were in obstinate rejection and you are committing facade, you are oppressing the people this day we have decided to preserve your physical body that your physical body when it is rediscovered would function as a sign for a people to come after you would function as a sign for a people to come after you most people are too busy you know so much traffic in KL too busy to ponder and reflect over the signs of Allah the body of Pharaoh was discovered I think it was 1897 somewhere around there but in the same year that the Zionist movement was established the link is there who are the people to come after you and what is the warning for them what is the sign the sign is this that there are a people to come after you who will live the way you lived and who will die the way you died meaning at the last moment when Nabi Isa alayhi salam arrives now the veils are removed from their eyes and they cannot anymore reject him as the Messiah now they are forced to accept him but acceptance and belief at this time for Pharaoh did no good to him into the hellfire and acceptance when Nabi Isa Islam comes back will do no good to them into the hellfire so this is a lie from Harun Yahya that we'll all come together Christians, Muslims and Jews as a fraternity oh yes there are Christians who denounce Israel and there are Jews who denounce Israel and its oppression those Christians and those Jews are our friends and allies we have no conflict with them they are not oppressors but these are our oppressors hmm? and Nabi Muhammad told us how it will end not a Christian Muslim Jewish fraternity according to Harun Yahya no someone should direct Harun Yahya to the hadith which is in Sahih Bukhari somehow or the other he hasn't read the hadith 
The Prophet said, La tuqatilunna al-Yahud. This hadith is in Bukhari, it is in Muslim. You will most certainly fight the Jews. This is how history will end. Wala taqtulunnahum. And you'll most certainly defeat them. Hatta yakulu al-hajar. At that time even the stones will speak. Ya Muslim. Haza yahudiyun wa ra'ifa ta'ala faqtul. There's a Jew hiding behind me. So come and kill him. Which Jew? Don't make the mistake. Please. Of thinking it's all Jews. That's Disneyland thinking. No. Only those Jews who are oppressors. And that is what Israel is today. An oppressor. And so history will end quite differently. From Harun Yahya's end of history. He had to write I don't know how many thousand books. And he had to produce I don't know how many thousand documentaries. In every single Islamic cable channel in the world in order to be able to, to, to infiltrate us with this falsehood and we only needed five minutes only needed five minutes to expose this utter lie and so history ends with the destruction of the state of Israel the imposter with the destruction of Dajjal and of Gog and Magog the liberation of the Holy Land and now the truth is triumphant and the truth which came from Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, which came in the Quran that truth is validated that truth is validated and therefore Akhiru Zaman ends with truth triumphant in Jerusalem but the Christians were saying the same thing and the Jews were saying the same thing and the Muslims are saying the same thing except that it's not the same thing the truth which came in the Quran is the uncorrupted truth and you have corrupted you have corrupted the message which came in previous revelations and so it is to the Quran that mankind must turn only the Quran can explain the end of history. We pray that our gathering here tonight will understand that we have a duty to the Quran, that we must not betray the Quran. Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam complained, and the complaint is in the Quran. Do you know that? And he complained to Allah. And he complained about you and I. It is in Surah Al Furqan. Waqala Rasul, Ya Rab, in the Qawmit Tahazu Hazal al Quran Mahjura. My people have forsaken this Quran. We will be falling in that category if we do not now return to the Quran and get the Quran to explain to us the world in which we are living today you can begin that process by reciting the Quran constantly cover to cover and when you finish you start again and when you finish you start again because you know what happens when you recite the Quran constantly do you know how much filth gets into the mind? It's constantly being corrupted. Filth after filth coming from television, coming from KLCC, coming from all, all. And you need to wash it. You need to have the ghusl of the mind. How can you get the ghusl of the mind and the heart? Answer? You must recite the Quran. And as you're reciting the Quran, the recitation of the Quran will purify you and give you the capacity to think clearly. And then when you study the Quran, you'll be able to see 
what otherwise cannot be seen. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiyul alim wa tab alayna ya mulana inna ka anta tawab rahim.